Hey guys, what's up? This is First Attempt Weightlifting. I'm Aaron Adams, and with me is John Filippini. Yo, yo. Hey, remember to submit your guys' emails at firstattemptweightlifting at gmail.com. Make sure you guys send us some stuff. We love seeing your videos. Send us landscape if possible. That'd be really awesome, and I love high resolution as well. But that's just nitpicking, which is what we do very well here. Indeed. We're, we're looking for the best possible videos to be able to educate other people, but ultimately, what you got is what you got, and we're always looking to help. Send it in, guys. All right, so here we have uh, Kathy, yeah? Yep, Kathy's a master's lifter here in the Maryland area, uh, which by the way, we got a lot of Marylanders sending in vids. If you're across the country, feel free to send it to us as well. We love to meet some new people and analyze some new people. But Kathy here is a master's lifter that's been uh, around the circuit for just a little while, and she's been making huge leaps and bounds on her technique, but we're going to see how she's moving now and what she needs to be working on. Frustrating to lose a lift. Yeah, so first off, props would be having, you know, this is gutsy. She's putting in a, a mislift, and that, you know, that's the th sort of thing you have to learn from. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. What's the first thing you're, we're looking at here? Well, right off the ground, I like her back angle per se. Um, I think it's fine to start with. But as you can see, as she pulls up off the ground, now she's here. And now she's here. So that angle just keeps rotating yeah. so that she gets more and more parallel to the floor. Sometimes that's not a bad thing. In this case, I'm um, not so sure. Yeah, often that kind of dynamic movement of the back angle, that's a, some very talented athletes do that, but that's a very advanced maneuver. And what I was actually thinking is that maybe, maybe, although this looks, honestly, if we just took this one snapshot and looked at this, I think this looks amazing. Yeah. I'm a little curious, however, if actually right about here, this back angle, is actually maybe a little bit more appropriate for her. Yeah, I can not, get on board Not with that. this one all the way up here, but this one like kind of halfway between. Yeah. That that would have been a position that she could have maintained from the floor all the way through the lift, whereas all the way down here, she's not able to control. Right, and typically I even tell my athletes, I actually start them a little bit higher with their butt because I think it's a little bit easier to learn how to move your knees out of the way and really like get that first pull off the ground. And then slowly over time, I'll say, hey, you know, lower your butt an inch, all right, lower it again, until it's to a more proper position that I would enjoy. However, just starting out, I usually start their hips a little higher so that they can get that transition off the floor. Because as soon as, it, the more the hips drop, the more the knees have to come forward, which means the more work you have to do is what you're right. basically trying to avoid. That you're trying to keep it simple, the more work you have to do to get the knees out of the way. So I, I can get behind that. All right, all right. Um, so let's, Fast forward this a little bit. I want you guys to bring your attention to the feet. Now, this is a really good example when you're starting a weight, uh, when you're starting out being a weightlifting coach. Sometimes you can just pay attention to one part of the body, and it'll give you huge amounts of information about what's going on in the lift. So, if we just watch her feet, nothing else, you see a nice little rotation back where her toe starts to come up. Yep. Not really a big fan of this because what happens is it starts this thing that I call the pendulum where it swings in one way, it's going to have to swing right back out the other way. Absolutely. She goes this far back and we hadn't even gotten the full range yet. She's huge feet way up back on the heels and then she rolls forward. This looks good if it could stop there, but it can't because it's got all that forward momentum and now she's still in a position where her hips and her knees, neither one is extended fully yet, but she's got the feet really elevated. Right. This is not your ideal power. Yeah, you want to stay flat-footed in that position. Another thing, if we back it up just a little bit, you can see this wicked, I'm sorry we're busting on you, Kathy, so much, but you can see this wicked arm bend. Yeah, and again, I would say here that I don't think this is actually, like, something for her to focus on. Though. No, I, th I think it's a side effect, basically, of her swinging the bar. And yeah. I think she's a good athlete because what that arm bend does in this position is it enables her to keep that bar in close. Now, if her arms were straight in that position, what would end up happening is this thing oh, would yeah. just be going whoop way out. And she's she going to have this huge swing because yeah. that pendulum that we already talked about that you were saying, the rock forward to the toes, the hips are following that and if she's got straight arms, the bar is just going to swing. Yeah. That arm bend, while it's not what we really want to see in real lifting as, as things improve, it shouldn't be necessary. Right. But given the, everything else, she is a, she's compensating for something else. Right, which big props for making a compensation on a lift that literally takes less than a second. So neurologically, you're firing on all cylinders, girl. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, in case we, of course, the, the consequence of all this as we as she lands, she gets under the bar, and because she had to jump forward, yee. Tippy toes. See that. Yeah, you can see she lands on her toes, which is partially a lie. Though, by the way, just because I know this young woman, if you look at this, 
I love this shoulder position. Yeah. I'm very impressed, Kathy, because I know that that's new for you, and you've been working hard on that. That's so awesome. very cool. Uh, granted, if we could get that back over with avoiding some of that pendulum, it'll kind of all square out. Yep, and that's what I think ultimately consequences in that. So, yeah, totally. And, and miss lifts just result from that sort of thing, from that forward motion. So the number one thing I would say as far as resulting back to how to how to fix this, we mentioned a whole bunch of cause and effect here, but ultimately the root cause is being back here, letting yourself get into this pendulum cycle starting with the feet. Get, keep the feet flat. They're keep glued. The feet flat. They're glued. Ball of the foot to the heel, glued to the ground, guys. Yeah, and I think that just getting the hips maybe just a little bit higher start position at this skill level um, will help her to be able to manage that and control, yep. control that position. Sorry, I would there. completely agree with you. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. It's first attempt weightlifting again I'm with John Filippini, and my name's Aaron Adams. Send us your emails at firstattemptweightlifting at gmail.com. We'll Subscribe. We'd yeah. love to see your videos, and we'd love to be able to show off and help out all these various people, and hopefully we can all learn together. I love subscriptions. All right, take care, guys. Later. Bye.